Hey, hey everyone, it's Mike X 72 here. Have a quick holdover video until big 2013 video project I'm doing. Today we can learn how to install Windows 9 virus files VMware. Now, if you've got VMware, I've did this before, but I don't know what happened to the thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. So VMware should be opening up by now. This computer is on its on its it's gonna be on its way out then. There we go. VMware. Now if it now for a new machine obviously. Typical to do. Yeah, so I'd have to hack and make a hack to a shop so. so what I'm gonna do is put my Windows ninety five ISO in. If I put it. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's in my stuff. Now, now you're thinking, why Windows 95? It's outdated. Well, it's all for nostalgia. Okay, yep, yep, yep. I'll just change that to. Yeah. Mm. So let's make put in the uh right put in D drive and I'll just make yeah, I'll just put in D drive. Okay. Eight gigs. Two gigs. Now you can make it anything you want, but two gigs is enough. You know, a few megabytes and stuff. And how much pack of bells came with I'll just do a thing file. Yep, yep. Finish. Now, it's all ready. But it's not ready. It's not ready yet. I mean, sorry about that. So as you can see, it's... Okay. So click on... It. So, as you can see, it's already turning on. But you're for permission. Now, power it off. It's just... So about that, I just had to go to a toilet, like if you wanted to know. Anyway, go to Edit Virtual Machine Settings, since we'll have to just put in a floppy image. Now, in browse the floppy image, go from wherever your thing is, so. There we go. And yeah, so let's click OK, and let's power on this machine. As you can see, it will just boot up. Like basic OS network boot. Now, what's happening here is that this is not connected at the start. So, go back into settings and click connect a power on and connected. Then, just reset your OS. You have to do that first. I've got that right. Then, so sign Windows 95. Yep, everything like technology and stuff. Now, here's what you have to do. Now, your C drive is not there. So, go into F disk. 1, 1, Y. And now we'll just reset. Now, I'll, now we'll reboot. Starting with 9.5, it says again. I'll just go through a basic boot up. Then go back to this and then. Now, format C, Y. Now, what this will do is format into fat format and then I'll just call it Win95. There we go. Now go to C drive and then make C D now we're not making Windows, we're just making the file so so you can get the install files any time.
Now, you have to make these files. We may not, but still. It's still good, so just in case you lose your Windows 95 file, so you can see a backup of it, of it on here. So then, copy. C slash Windows options slash caps and then it will copy everything from the Windows 95 disk image or not and now it's all copied so go back to C drive and then tab and set up and then go to tab and tap and set up and then and then we'll go through basic Windows 95 install and yes, but in the a basic version one state. Anyway, I'll just set my Windows 95, and I'll see you back when it's uh, when we're at the desktop. When we're at the desktop. All right, so it's almost completed, and I know we're not at the desktop, but here's what you have to do. You have to take out disconnect, connect at power on because if you don't, if you don't, it'll go back to the startup disk. Just take that out and VM will restart. Start Windows 95. Okay. One minute. This sh you should have settings. Okay, well, connected and yep, now it's off. Now we just. So now we're just. I'm still not that used to VMware, but I'm getting used to it. Now VM will restart. And then you'll see lots of 90 stuff, <laughs> the 90 font and crap. It seemed 90 font, like that. Can you run Windows 95? First time. Alright, I'll meet you at this time. Alright, now this is rebooting. Now, this is this a stock version of Windows 75. No. Custom packet bell, no custom HP, no custom down. This is purely Windows 95. See, it's being up for the first time. Just, now, that's on Windows 95. But we are not done yet. You have to install VMware tools. So, at below it, you'll see something saying install tools. Click that. And then, oh, and then. You have to edit that to PM and AM. Once again, I've got an Arabic version. Now, that's all because we'll get to install. So, go to my computer, right click VMA tools and click Explore. And then click in, in, in MSIA. Then I'll prepare to install once again. More Arabic stuff. Yeah. Oh man, it's starting to annoy me. Sorry about that, the Arabic, the Arabic, I mean, the Arabic language is getting on my nerves, I mean, I'm not trying to be right, I'm not racist, I'm just saying that, I know it's an insult, but I may want to read something that sh I can't read, so, go to VMware tools at the bottom, where I'm preparing to install, then, and then, look at that, and then we'll have the old VMware logo, which most people may not care about. Now, I'm just going to do a typical one, you know, with SVJ and everything. We install, and install everything. Alright. The SVJ drive won't install automatically. What will happen is that what you have to do is see, you can say that. So, what you have to do is that finish. We'll restart later. I see the tools are now on. Not yet, just free beta, but we have to get that the tools to be on. We go to change display type. When it goes that, don't click change. And then click have disk. And then browse for it. And then go to. And go to this. You see, go to program files, 
or Probat 1. Go to VMware, VMware Squealy 1, Drivers, Video, and then there you go. Click OK, click OK. It says here VMware S3J2, click OK, and it'll install it. Now, what I'll do is just not care about that, and now close, and now apply, and yes. Now it will say that. It will say that, but I don't know. I will say that, but it works for you. Congratulations. If it doesn't, sorry, I don't know how to get Sound Blast working. Try and install it into there. But here's a perfect installation for now. If I get Sound Blast working, I'll show you. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want more videos, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. For many generations.